Yes, uh, let me move on to numerical part of equilibrium. So here you are getting a uh, sphere oriented problem, string oriented problem, compute the unknown forces, uh, whatever developed in the system, like the type of uh, question they last in examination. This is also a very, very important problem. So many type ask in VTV examinations for uh, uh, five to six marks. It's a simple problem. Find the tension in the string. So it's asking find the tension in the string. You have to compute tension in the string and reaction at the contact surface. So T and R. And also we have to determine reaction at the contact surface. For the cylindrical weight, 1000 Newton. The cylinder having weight of 1000 Newton. 1000 Newton. For cylindrical weight, 1000 Newton shown in figure. So figure is given in the problem. So this is a 1000 Newton sphere resting on inclined contact surface and holded by a string. So as per free body diagram, we know that if there is a string in a system, there is a tensile force. And at contact surfaces, reactions are developed perpendicular towards the contact surface. As well as the sulfate, here 1000 Newton is given, it's acting towards the gravity. So first write the free body diagram. First write the free body diagram. Free body diagram. So it's a sphere. Sphere of weight of weight 1000 Newton. So it's acting towards gravity. 1000 Newton. Because self weight, the weight is always acting towards the gravity. Next, this is a string. 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 So this is a string. So this string means with respect to origin, so always tensile force. With respect to origin, always tensile force. So represent acting away. So this is T, tension. Next you are having contact surface. So inclined contact surface. So we are having inclined contact surface like this, right? So drop perpendicular, drop perpendicular. If you drop perpendicular, so it's a given problem, front right here. So drop perpendicular because here you are having contact surface. Contact surface of say 50 Newton, right? So this angle is this angle is 50 degree. Now drop perpendicular. This is a contact surface. Contact surface. Drop perpendicular. So, for this, the reactions are always acting towards. So, this is perpendicular. Perpendicular means 90 degree. This is perpendicular. So, this angle is 90 minus 50. So, it will become 40 degree. 90 minus 50. This angle is so perpendicular. This is 90 degree. So, this is 50. 90 minus 50, 40. This is a reaction, R. Reaction. So this is 90. Even this is also 90. Because it's a perpendicular, right? It's a perpendicular. So 90. Here, if this is 90, this angle is 20. 90 minus 20, this angle will become 70. 70. 70. Whatever this angle. This is 90 minus 20. It will become 70. 70. Now the proportionate diagram is given by, so this is T and this is weight 1000 Newton and as well as this is the reaction R of angle 40 degree as well as this angle is 90 minus 20, 70 degree, 70 degree. Once again, by principle of transmissibility, this force will transmit here. We can take this force here. Once again, the equivalent diagram will become this is R, and here you are having 3 T, and this force downwards 1000 Newton. 1000 Newton. So for horizontal, whatever the angle here, 40. Here also same inclination because same line of action. So in the sense, this angle and angle both are same, 40 degree, 40 degree and the angle between 
P and R is 70, is 70, and this is 90 degree, 90 degree. So this is 180 degree line, 180 degree line. 180 minus 70, it will become what is 180 minus 70? 110. 110. So 90 plus 40. What is 90 One. plus 40? 130. 90 plus 40 will become 130. 130. This is 130. Now the overall circle is 360. 360 minus 130 minus 110. One twenty. This is one twenty. So this is three body diagram. The angle computation is very very important. Please observe once again. In the first step, this is the given problem. So I have dropped a perpendicular to determine the reaction. Now when you are dropping perpendicular, we are computing two angles. One is reaction inclination and another one is angle between T and R. One is reaction and another one is angle between T and R. Now when we are dropping perpendicular, 90 minus 50, 40 is the reaction and 90 minus 20, 70 is the angle between T and R. Now I am just transferred here. This is the 70, it's the angle between T and R and 90 minus 50 is the 40 degree, it's the reaction inclination. Now by the principle of transmissivity, to apply Lamy's theorem, I just transmit this R here and T, mutually, three mutually perpendicular forces, T, R and 1000 acting downward. And we compute the angle. How we compute the angle? Reaction, whatever, 40, I have taken 40. So this is a quadrant 90, 90 plus 40, 130. Now consider this as a straight line, R1, R line. So 180 degree line. 180 minus 70 will give 110. Once you got 110 and 130, so overall is 360. 360 minus 130 minus 110 will give 120. Now apply Lamy's. Lamy's theorem. What is what Lamy's theorem says? Force, one of the forces directly proportional to sine of angle between other two forces. Therefore, P divided by sine of 130. See, P sine of R and 1000. Next, 1000 divided by angle between R and T, which is equals 1000 divided by 1000 divided by sine of 110. 110 which is equal R divided by sine of this angle between T and 1000 is 120. Now compare these two values and compare these two values. When you are comparing this value, it will become T equals T equals cross multiplication 1000 multiplied by sine 30 divided by Sine 110. What is the T value? 815.2. 815.2 Newton. This is T value. Next, compare these two things. Therefore, R equals cross multiply this 1000 multiplied by sine 120 divided by sine 110. What is R value? 921.61 921.61 Newton 921.61 Newton So this is very very simple problem 5 marks problem Very very important problem Find the tension in the stream The tension value is 815.2 Newton And reaction at the contact surface Our value is 921.61 Newton 1000 Newton is uh, weight of sphere. Weight is always acting towards gravity. In swing, there is a tension. In next step, draw perpendicular. Determine the angle of inclination of reaction as well as angle between T and R. Here, the same diagram I have imposed here. This angle is between T and R is 70 and the angle of R is 40. Now, by principle of transmissibility, transmit the force here because to apply Lamy's theorem, we have to take three mutually perpendicular forces. Take R, take whatever the horizontal inclination 40 degree here, 40 plus 90 will give 130. Take this as a straight line reaction, 180 degree line, 180 minus we know that 70, it will give 110. 
After that, 360 minus 110 minus 130 will be 120. Now, we apply Rani's theorem. T divided by sine of 130, R divided by sine of 120, 1000 divided by sine 110. Compare it to two things because three things are known, one is unknown. You compare your T and R. So, I hope you are understanding these simple basic steps. Thank you.